Have you heard of Shabaka? We've talked about Kashta. We've talked about Pianke. Very little is known about Shabaka, who was the third black pharaoh to rule over the empire of Egypt. Kashta was actually Shabaka's father. Pianke was Shabaka's brother. Kashta started the domination of the control of Egypt, but he did it through strategic means. If you followed my previous videos, you heard me talk about his daughter, Amarnertus the first, who became the high priestess of Egypt. And the significance of that was that whoever was in that position had in times equal authority to the Pharaoh and, and at other times more authority. So Kashta was strategic in his approach to control and to ultimately dominate Egypt. His son, Pianke, actually embarked upon a military conquest of Egypt because there were individuals who were still holding on to fiefdoms in the northern part of Egypt, which actually is called Lower Egypt. It's Lower Egypt because of the geography. If you understand the lay of the land there, it is oriented to the flow of the Nile River. The Nile River flows from south to north. So Pianchi actually went in with those uh, celebrated uh, archers who were snipers from the land of the bow and cleaned things up and totally conquered uh, those who remained in place from the prior dynasty, the 24th dynasty, who were primarily of Libyan origin. Bianca said to them, I will allow you to maintain your local control with the exception of you cannot uh, instigate rebellion against me and, and the Kushite rule over Egypt, which they agreed to do. They agreed that they would uh, recognize Kush's right to control Egypt. And they also recognized that they would pay tribute to the Kushite rulers who were primarily ruling in the place of Napata, which was Kushite's capital. So based upon that, uh, Pianke ended his military conquest of Egypt, went back to his home, which is Napata, and he lived his life out there. But the Libyan rulers in the north who had agreed not to rebel went back on their word. Now we're at 705 BC and Pianke has passed away. His brother takes the reins of power. His name is Shabaka. Shabaka is skillful in many ways. Like his father, he is strategic. Like his brother, he is diplomatic. But unlike those two others, he didn't play the radio, so to speak. He didn't put up with the foolishness. He didn't put up with rebellion. So what did he do? One of the first things that he did is that he went to the northern cities and he put down the rebellion and he identified and captured the number one instigator that was causing rebellion in the northern part of Egypt. He didn't just kill him, he captured him, he brought him to a central location and he burned him at the stake. And he did that to make a point. Don't try me. I'm not like my brother. If you tell me that you're not gonna rise up, I expect you to do that and if you go back on your word, there will be severe and extreme consequences. 